Hey loves, my name is Winnie Jean. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here and if you're returning, then hey girl, how you doing? In today's video, I will be styling this cute little pre-plucked, pre-bleached, really, really beginner-friendly wig that I was sent by Wild African. They sponsored today's video and all the information about the hair will be down below in the description bar if you guys want to check it out. If I can get a coupon code, girl, I will put it down there too. I got you. So, my hair is already braided. I have it in 14 small braids that I kind of connected together in the back. So we can go ahead and get right into the hair tutorial. I've already pressed out the edges on the wig just so we can get a little bit of a head start, girl. We ain't trying to be here all day. But I'm not really sure how I want to style it yet. We'll figure it out together. Let's go ahead and get into the install. Okay, so I have my hair like slicked back. So we can go ahead and start to do the ball cap. I'm using one of the really thin ones. I've been obsessed with these lately, so I have like a nice little collection, honey. I really like these. They make my installs look so good, especially when I have like HD lace. I caught myself using one of the old ones the other day, but it just did not give what I needed it to give. I'm, I'm bougie now, baby. I can't go back. I cannot go back to the hood. Okay, so I have my bald cap on. I kind of went over the edges with a little bit more of the gel to get it as slick as possible, but this is what is given. It's time to go ahead and put the wig on. There were two extra clips right here that I cut out and some extra lace back here. I trimmed off the extra lace, trimmed out those clips, and we can go ahead and pop her on. So I'm gonna have to trim a little bit of the lace in the middle, but before we do that, I'm gonna trim the lace around the ear tabs just to kind of see like how they lay. But I may end up having to trim a little bit off of those as well. We're gonna see, but so far so good. When I tell you they plucked this wig, they really plucked it. Like I don't need to do anything extra. And the knot bleaching, they put their foot in it. I will give them that, I will give them that. Okay, so we have the ear tabs laid. Now I need to kind of customize the front of this hairline. My hair is pretty low on the sides and then in the middle it's a lot higher. I don't want to take it like all the way back to where my natural hairline is, but this is like way too much. So I'm just parting out some hair and I'm gonna just pull it out so that we can kind of customize the hairline just a bit. Yeah, that's way better. Like, this was getting wild. Okay. So I feel like this looks really natural. It's not too high in the middle. It just kind of looks like my natural hairline. I really love how well this wig is plucked. Like, I'm not going to lie. I need to kind of press out the top a little bit. Okay, so I can finish pressing it out after we install. So because we're gonna do a glueless install, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the extra lace right now. Um, I've just been really liking that technique better. I feel like my lace lays a lot better when I pre-cut the lace for a glueless install. So I like to start by cutting it down the middle and then I just cut really jagged about a millimeter in front of the hairline. with my scissors. You don't want it to be too straight or else it's kind of obvious where the lace ends. But if it's jagged, then it kind of blends in with your skin better because it's not like a clear cut like lace line. I hope that makes sense. Okay. 
I'm using whatever leftover foundation is on the brush from when we applied the foundation to the wig cap just to kind of blend it in with my collect my collection with my complexion before we lay the lace down and then I'm gonna do it in sections starting with the middle because it's kind of easier to pull up the sides once the middle is laid using the same bold hold liquid gold I finally learned how to use it I was doing it wrong because I wasn't setting it with heat this gel is for a glueless install It's super strong but you have to apply a really thin amount and then put some heat on it if you just put like your elastic band on top, it's not gonna like dry all the way. It's not gonna give the, the right finish. So if you use it properly, this gel is amazing. I think I had just got so used to the technique that I had been used to doing with other products that I wasn't using it right. Getting it a little tacky, and then I'm gonna go ahead and place the lace right down. Do you see how that's melted? Woo! This lace is amazing. Okay, so we have this section here done. I'm gonna go ahead and just dry it really quick. And then we can do the ear tabs. You kinda have a nice amount of time to work with this product since you have to dry it yourself. So it gives you a little bit more time to play with it before it's time to, you know, lock it in place. But I'm also kind of wiping off any excess because once it dries, it gets really shiny and hard to like wipe off. So I'm putting my dryer on low and I'm going to just put some heat on it until it's cured. Okay, so everything is straightened and the layers are so cute. I thought of them a little bit shorter this time, so I love it. Now I just have to take off this elastic band and see what the lace is given. Hopefully it's like melted. Ooh. And is get into it. Ignore this low line from my um from my elastic band, but the lace is amazing. Honestly, I kind of don't want to do baby hairs. It's kind of giving everything I want it to give as is. I think it's giving, friend. Hold on. All right, so this is the finished look. I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's tutorial. Thank you again to Wild African Hair for working with me. This lace is chef's freaking kiss. It's amazing. Like, can't tell me nothing. Don't even need no baby hairs, and that's saying a lot coming from me, okay? Because I don't even need baby hairs to have them. So, I hope that you guys really like the cuts. It's a little bit longer than all the other wigs that I have like this, because y'all know I love a good layered middle part, baby, but... This one is way longer than the other ones I have. So it's going to be nice to add to my little collection. 
So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, babes.